Today we'll be testing the Discovery. This is the VTZ 4216x40 first focal plane scope, light as a bumblebee, clear glass, extremely well priced. Let's jump into it. Thank you to palletguns.com who sponsored this video today. They uh, lent me this scope to play around a little bit. Now this is a first focal plane, 4 to 16 by 40, so it's nice, compact, light, comes with a beautiful sunshade, excellent quality scope caps on this, a really nice piece of work. The scope itself feels solid, it feels, feels like a good quality scope. And it's priced at round about $200, which is quite amazing for a first focal plane scope. Let's go into this a little bit more detail and look at the features of the scope. Yep, I'm looking through the wrong end. I did this on purpose. All right, so I mounted this scope on my Nova Vista Behemoth 22 bulb up. And I went out into the felt to test it a little bit, to do some shooting, and also to try and give you guys a decent, honest review. One of the first things that caught my eye is the very interesting reticle that they used. Even through two camera lenses, the glass is still clear as you can see in this picture. Yes, the reticle is slightly burnt, that's because the ocular is out of focus. Quite interesting, um, it's a very fine crosshair, but the moment you zoom it in, that's the only fault I could find with the crosshair. It's a little bit too thick for my liking. So when you zoom it in, you probably blurt out your whole target in this record. But if you keep the magnification down to 12 or 13 times, the crosshair is very, very nice and crisp and fine, and it easily zooms in and out. The zoom function itself is smooth and easy to use, which is quite surprising for a scope in this price range. A bonus feature in this price range is the ocular adjustments. We can actually adjust the crosshair to suit your eye a little bit, and it goes up to minus two or plus two on the ocular spectrum, which is quite nice, specifically for eagle-eyed glass puppies like myself. All right, to adjust the turrets, quite easy. Pop it up, nice, firm, crisp click. And I just turn my turrets out, so I don't know where my zero is, which is fine. The same with the windage, pull it, nice and crisp and just push it back the nice thing about the lockable turrets is that you can't accidentally bump the gun and get your scope all out of alignment regarding that the one thing that i didn't like about it is the parallax so the parallax even if i'm actually focused at 50 meters the parallax is slightly off with the me measurement there so i can't use this for distance gauging in that regard i promised my wife i'd keep it short for a change <coughs> all right now pros Absolute, absolute fantastic sunshade. First focal plane is quite good. It's lightweight. It's a solid feeling turrets. Affirmative clicks when you adjust the turrets. Pull and turn turrets are solid. Scope caps are sturdy. 30 mil tube. And then price, price, price. The cons, the parallax is not that accurate. Crosshair is a bit thick for my liking. And only a 40 mil front lens might struggle a little bit in low light. But you will have to buy one for yourself. To go and check it out i think from a price perspective and a value for money this is quite a good buy goodbye then goodbye that's all folks